so let's start populating this website now as, uh, let's before that let's make some minor adjustments to our index page as of now we don't have any space between the navbar and the buttons and the table so let's add them let's add some break tags here and here this will give us some space between the elements and now let's rename the always expand to our project name that's in the that is in the base.html inventory management okay now we can start defining our functions before that let me show you about a django administration page okay for this you need to log inside log into the django administration you need credentials and to and to create those credentials uh let's exit out of the django run server and we're going to call the python manage.py script again this time passing create super user as a command it's going to ask you to give some credentials an email address and a password once that's done you can use them to log in to the administration website okay i think we forgot to run the server again give the credentials again okay as you can see now we are inside the django administration file uh, generally we see our models defined right here in this empty section but we but, but but we currently can't see them because we haven't registered them yet in our admin.py page now so let's go there and do it as you can see django already helps us with this comment saying register your models here let's do that right now register our models in the django administration panel we have to pass all our models to this class decorator admin dot register let's pass all our models desktop model laptop and mobile you can say let's call our class view admin and this is going to inherit the admin dot model admin and pass okay this is enough for us to uh, render the website with uh, render the django administration website with our models okay something's wrong okay we forgot to import uh, the des desktop laptop and mobile into this specific file let's do that from dot models import all what's the problem invalid syntax okay we don't I mean, we don't need a semicolon there okay now as you can see we have desktops laptops and mobiles in our django administration panel the Django administration panel is quite robust and we can directly add, delete or uh, edit any items directly from the from this panel. As you can see, we have all our three models right here and I'll just add a desktop element, desktop one, and $400 item available and save. As we can see, we have added a first element into the model. and as you can see this specific string is directly derived from the str method which i have written right here that i that i have mentioned earlier if you give anything anything different right here and that is going to be directly reflected in the django administration panel and these these labels type price status and issues these are also directly directly related to the models page sorry models file which we have defined for each model as you can see right here now for testing purposes let let's add a couple of elements into our models using the admin panel let's add few desktops desktop 3 desktop 4 and let's add some laptops and at least one mobile okay now let's just start defining views so that we can see each each model into our tables 
okay now we're ready to define views to display those elements which we have added just now so let's go into our views.py that is in the apps that is in our inventory app and let's start defining views so that we can fetch those value fetch those entries from the from the database and display it onto our table so let's start defining a function let's call it display laptops we are going to bind this bind this specific function to the laptops button that is in our index page we're going to pass as request we're going to collect all the items that are in the laptops laptop uh, model objects dot all this is going to retrieve all the entries that are that are present in the laptop uh, model now we're going to return render render is going to accept three arguments the first one is the request that is that is uh, you have to pass request all the time and the second one being the template that is to which template it has to render and the third one is the context so context uh, i'll explain what's context in just a second let's pass the context for now let's see items are the items and this is enough okay uh, so basically if we say a, if we pass a name in this context say we passed a name this name can be used to, uh, this name can be extracted from that specific html and we can use that use that name to display in a browser okay now let's see if our display laptops function actually works uh, as i mentioned before we have to link this function with the button in the html via the urls.py file so let's add the url that is corresponding to that function say url let's add a line between them we're going to start a regular expression with cap symbol and we're going to end this with a dollar symbol we're going to say display laptop display laptops we're going to pass the function and we're going to give it a name display laptop now we're going to link this in the html view to, i mean index.html remember we left the pound symbols earlier that is where we are going to link this url so in this laptop let's replace this href with the uh, with the function name to do that we're going to say percent percent url we are going to call the url display laptop make sure this is the this is the same name as used in the urls file this name and this is going to basically call this function whenever you click on that specific button so let's let's see if it's working something's wrong okay i think we forgot to put a comma display laptop not defined we never imported any okay. we never imported it, this display laptop so let's import all and let's try that again okay why is it not working oh we renamed we have renamed this wrong display laptop Laptops. Let's change the function name. This the laptops, and let's see if that works now. Okay. Name laptop is not defined. Why is that? Ah, we never imported the model. all okay now we can see the url successfully changed to display laptop that means the function is working but we for, we never we never told it to display in the t body in the table body to do that we are going to use yet another construct of the jinja to templating language that is the for for statement so let's do that you're gonna say for item in items this is basically the same as the python for python construct for and for don't forget the percent signs 
and this items you might be wondering what is this items this is this is the, just the bucket of information which we have passed earlier from the views.py you see this is the key that this index is looking for and this is this will be treated as a list and a for loop runs on that entire list so now we now we are having each item with which we can display some information let's add some table rows and table data we're gonna get the we're gonna get some we get, we're gonna get the primary key this primary item key will be automatically added by the uh, django backend we don't have to worry about the primary keys let's add in the item dot type item dot price item dot status item dot issues make sure these names are exactly corresponding to the more uh, names which you have mentioned in the models file okay i think that's enough we can see this function at work now as you can see we have successfully displayed all our uh, all the elements which are present in the laptop section okay now let's do the let's do the same with the desktops and mobile buttons also it's fairly simple we can just uh, rewrite this entire code i mean copy paste the entire code display desktops display mobiles and don't forget to change this desktop mobile the rest of them can remain the same and in the same way now we are going to link the views and the index using the url we are going to just copy don't forget the commas display desktop display mobiles and that's it we can now see all these three buttons work okay something's wrong just remove this and we can see the laptop button working desktop and mobile okay we forgot to uh, link them in the index page so let's remove the pound symbol and replace with this we're gonna change display laptops to display desktops and display mobiles okay that's it now we can see three buttons at work and we can see desktops are being displayed now and mobiles are also being displayed now so the next step we are going to add a new element with uh, instead of going to the admin panel and adding we are going to add a functionality to this plus button that we we, we can use it to add elements directly with the index page